It's tea time! This is where we spill the tea. I mean, we're here. We're on the Jones Beach Boardwalk. Oh Dee Snyder's God. calling in. Wrap it up. We've been hanging out with the hot teas. The hot teas, by the way, are amaze. Hashtag <laughs> Long, Long Island, Island Life. Life. Cheers. Cheers. Welcome back to Long Island Tea. I'm Kristen. And I'm Sharon. You're back. Yay. Look who's back. Sharon's <laughs> um, back. Okay, hold on. I got to look at this because I didn't Okay. Uh, yes. Oh, I knew it. Um, I just got some super tea. I know. That is a super Anyway, um, and I just love it when I can say, I know I'm right. You totally called it. I, we're not even, we're just off the rails we already. Are. We no. are. Sorry. So um, <laughs> this is where we spill the tea on life on Long Island. And uh, it's been pretty freaking amazing yeah, this week. Is. And busy. I'm like blurry. Yeah. Right now from just being so busy, but uh, we'll kick it off. Sharon, thank you for being back. And I had a great time with Alyssa, but uh, how you doing? I'm doing good. How you doing? I'm doing. I was speaking at a panel this morning and someone said, so Kristen, how you doing? And I said, how you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Everybody looked at me like I was insane. I'm like, this is what we say on the pod. Sorry. I'm I thought like, you were a listener. <laughs> and, and, then I, and then I go into like a weird spiel. I'm like, that's what we say on the Long Island Tea podcast, uh, which airs weekly everywhere you get your podcasts. <laughs> People are like, maybe take a breath. I'm like insane. That is hysterical. Yeah, but it was uh, so, so much going on this week. I we, literally just I like flew into the office. I know, from Montauk. I, I, I came in hot from came Montauk. In hot? I love it. I mean, which is not a bad place to come no, from. No, everybody's like, is Kristen coming in today? I'm like, yeah, she's in Montauk right now. How jealous. Yeah. <laughs> and, you know. For business, which was yeah, awesome. It's, well, so here's how it worked. Uh, it's been a crazy week. And then last night I was invited, uh, we'll start with last night because it was so awesome. I was invited to speak at the Islanders Elite Girls Hockey Club. So cool. Uh, it, they had a women's empowerment night and it was at the Cradle of Aviation, which is of course, one of my favorite museums yeah. anywhere in the world. It's if you've not been there, it is so amazing. Um, and they have this really cool like IMAX theater. It's mm -hmm. where we unveiled our belong yeah. campaign. So um, and it's great because this group of girls they aged from nine to nineteen, and they're sponsored by the New York Islanders. So they all have their Islanders jerseys on, and um, it was also sponsored by I think Northwell Health and National Grid. But they asked me to be on this panel. The Islanders did. Mm -hmm. Which, you guys, <laughs> I told Sharon as I was yeah. leaving, I'm like, uh, you know what? Else? why am I on this <laughs> panel? I don't, Honestly, like, it's an Olympic gold medalist who was on the first women's hockey team, won the gold mm -hmm. medal. It's the woman that started the entire club, like, dedicated her life to the club. The moderator was awesome. Um, Shannon something, I should know, I tagged her on my Instagram because she was so great. She's the, like, sports broadcaster from MSG. Uh, which is, as we know here on Long Island, Madison Square Garden. What What is her name? I, I, I just want to make sure I say her name. Shannon Hogan. Shannon Hogan. Uh, at Shannon Hogan Sports on Instagram. So cool. She was so nice, Aww. too. She, like, I was clearly a fish out of water. <laughs> and she was so kind to me. Um, so I really liked her. And uh, and then it was, a, it was just me, the only people that were, and then a woman from the Islanders. Mm -hmm. I was like, these girls are not going to want to hear from me. It was me and an attorney from Pharrell Fritz that they wanted to show, like, other, you know, industries yeah. than, other than just sports. Um, but it was so awesome. These girls were so impressive. They asked really thoughtful and interesting questions. And it was a, a girl and their parents. Okay. They each got to bring one parent. And, um, man, this the panel was so – I was, like – fangirling oh, over the so panel cool. i was like this is i can't even believe I, I got like for a second right before we started almost like emotional because she was talking to the girls about you know what you want to be when you grow up and these are women that you can aspire mm -hmm. to and i'm like if you would have told me mm. when i was their age even like 19 yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know all the way up to the top that i would be on a panel talking to girls about you know inspiring them to achieve their career goals i just i can't even believe i'm in that situation yeah. and to be you know to have that privilege for to, to have that audience and they were so cute and we talked about um social media at one mm -hmm. point and they were all the rest of the panel was like social media is bad you know uh, it, it makes you feel bad it, it, it hurts your self-esteem mm -hmm. and they, they were and all of those things are true sure like a lot of that is for young girls social media is a big burden yeah 
And then I was at the end, I was like, hi, so Discover Long Island just won the national award for social media. <laughs> so we're everywhere. I'm like, follow our TikToks. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, so, and I was like laying out all of our handles. Um, and it was so cute at the very end. So I'm standing here and of course, Shannon, who's like, they all follow her mm -hmm. for the sports commentator because yeah. she's super cool. And then um, the Olympic gold medalist, I forget her name, but she was like, I mean, amazing, impressive. Yeah. And they all wanted to see them. And this one girl comes up to me. I was like getting my purse and she's like, can I get my picture with you? Oh. And I was like, oh, she goes, my mom loves you. Oh. <laughs> I was like, what? She's so like, yeah, my cute. mom. I was just like, she'll, she'll die. Oh. And I was so stupid like dumbfounded that i didn't even ask her her mom's name who her mom was yeah. i was like so i don't know i was like oh my god that's so sweet i'm like tell your mom i said hi <laughs> like i know who your mom is but uh so hockey girl's mom if you're a, a hot tea and listening. like dm us because yeah. also your daughter was so cute i hope that my daughters would do that mm -hmm. and go up to somebody and like say can i take a picture with you for my mom i don't yeah. think they would I'm not sure. I don't know. <laughs> I don't think they would do that for me. So uh, the fact that your daughter did that. Yeah, that's adorable. I, I, anyway, I had the best time. I was so, you know, you go to these things and you're tired after the day. And it was I, it was like an hour drive, whatever. But then I get home till 930 and I was like, oh. But it was so inspiring. Yeah. Well, empowerment. That's awesome. Yeah. And these girls were so awesome. I mean, they're like travel to they, the time they spend. Yeah, you were saying. The dedication. I know. Whoa. I don't even. I was like, you guys are fine. And then I was really nervous they were going to ask me a question because they were they were, a lot of it was about sports. Like, mm -hmm. what got you interested in sports? And what I was like, I almost fell off the bar stool like a second ago. I, I don't do sports. I do zero sports. Oh, my gosh. That's so funny. <laughs> I had my high heel on and I like tripped. Thank God they didn't ask me those questions because I was like, I, I didn't play any sports. Um, anyway, it was really fun. And then I woke up at 7 a.m. I left, not woke up. I left my house at 7 a.m to drive to Montauk. I know. And I was still late. Were you? Yeah. How long did it take you? Uh, two and a half hours. Wow. It, so the meeting was at Gurney's. Oh, beautiful. Which is the, um, it used to be the Montauk Yacht Club and now it's Gurney's Star Island. Yeah. So cool. Right on the marina. Have you guys been there? Oh yeah. my God. It's, they just remodeled the whole thing. It's super awesome. And uh, then I went to the OG Gurneys. That's what I call it. For, uh, for brunch with a, a friend of mine that I saw there. And so I was like having a meeting, a lunch meeting with them. And it was too early for lunch. So I was like brunch. Yeah. So we're sitting there just, you know, gurneys, mm -hmm. ocean. Yeah. Gorgeous day. Yeah. It's beautiful weather. To die. That's I awesome. I'm like, That's what I'm saying. I'm so live. jealous. Yeah. It's, like, it's amazing. So how are you doing? I'm doing good. We are uh, thriving here. Mm. We are. We just hired another person. I know. I'm excited. I'm so excited. She accepted and she's really going to be an amazing asset to this yeah. organization um, for a digital marketing manager position. Yeah. And then also Susan started our oh VP God. of community Thank engagement. Thank God. She's literally with the governor yeah, right now. Right now. Uh, Governor Hochul is in town, and I couldn't be at two places at once. And right. I, thank God Susan's I here. I'm know. like, Susan, She's go. She's like, I got to go be with the Gov. I'm like, all right. Day I'm three. Good. Or whatever. <laughs> yeah. So that's so cool. Um, but yeah, we're, we are moving shaken here. Yeah. yeah. It's crazy. And I'm super excited about Susan as our new person. We have Chris. Chris has started. Yeah. Event. He he's settled in. New Chris. Mm -hmm. New Chris, not our uh, OG Chris. OG Chris. OG Chris. Um, <laughs> and, uh, and then our new employee, Emma, I'm really excited about yeah. her because she's going to help in the digital marketing, which we're just so overwhelmed with taking off right now. But she's kind of like a big deal in her own she's right. She's a big deal. Uh, yeah. She's got. She's like a. She's like an influencer. Yeah. Did you guys know that? Yeah. Uh, they all did yeah. their stalking. They're all. <laughs> oh, I told. I told my girls. I was like, uh, we just hired the nutritional blonde as our digital marketing, <laughs> and they immediately all followed her. Yeah. Yeah. She's so <laughs> awesome. My girls are already stalking her. Yeah. 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 Um. So also, but before we go to the wine of the week. Yeah. Uh, Bee's birthday. Yes, that's that's what happened. I feel like that was like a month ago, and it was yesterday. Um, I'm like, he, he didn't turned say nine. Brayden, Brayden my, my firstborn. I feel like he's my mother. firstborn son. I know, <laughs> I know. He uh, he turned nine, and it was so cute because he's also at that age where all of a sudden he like, I don't know, he's inviting his friends over without mm. telling me, and I'm like, okay. And so I normally have I have a big family. We all know this. So I don't do birthday parties for the kids because having my family alone is a birthday party. Right. You know, so I, had, I was like, hey, guys, I know it's a school night. We're just doing cake for Brayden. You know, his ninth birthday, whatever. 
come over at seven o'clock. Awesome. Getting everybody's responses. And then he's like, he texted me from his iPod yesterday. He's like, Hey mom, Andrew said he can come. <laughs> and I'm like, to where? <laughs> he's like, to my birthday party. And I'm like, Oh, okay. Let me text his mom. The next thing. Matt said he can come too. Oh, he's inviting his own friends. Vincent. Vincent's oh, coming. Okay. We had five little boys <gasps> over last night. And I was like, oh my God, this is the beginning of a beautiful this, friendship. Oh, you know, like it was so cute. so cute. But I got him, we got him the Oculus for oh, his birthday, oh, which cool. is super cool. But it's the funniest thing to watch people. <laughs> Do, yeah. That, the <laughs> Oculus is like the, the, the VR, the virtual the reality. The virtual reality. Yeah, that's uh, cool. It is so cool. But now all these kids, they're over. They all tried the virtual reality and they all were like screaming and yelling and jumping around. And I'm like, so this is what boys, mama boys, you yeah. know? Like, <laughs> Yeah, I've never, I don't know what that's like. Oh, it's crazy. But that'd be fun. Yeah, all, it's so All the boys cute. at your house. Yeah, I had the boys. Yeah. It was cute. I can't. One of them rode his bike over and I was like, so, cute. so does your mom know, you, is she going to pick you up? Like, yeah. it, it's dark. You know, yeah. I don't want you riding your home, bike home by yourself. And he's like, yeah, she'll be fine. And I'm like, no, she won't. Texting her, I'm like, I'm going to send him home with one of the other boys. Keep his bike here. He can Aww. pick it up tomorrow. Oh, <laughs> you know? see, but see, okay, this is something we're going to, Alyssa, I think we're going to talk about Jen. You said we we're going to talk about generational stuff at some point. Do you have a bunch of generational stuff you want to talk about? Oh, yeah, we, sh we should reheat that at some point because this is a generational thing, oh, right? Sure. Like mm -hmm. Gen X, by the way, mm -hmm. Chris. We, our parents never knew. You drank from the hose. Where we were. We went home at I had my, my bike. Sunset. I rode my bike. You didn't see me yeah. all weekend. Yeah. I, I, I would like, I remember, I would go spend the whole day like by myself. I would go to Baskin Robbins. I'd get some, a little scoop, a little so single cute. scoop. One scoop. And then I would go to, there's this little store next to it. And I would always go and shop for like these bears. They're like the Teddy Rund. They were like these super soft little teddy bears almost like those little Thai beanie baby be things. yeah but yeah. before that mm -hmm. um and I would like pet all of them and shop Aww. around I, yeah because like, like back by myself then, back then it was like there was drug stores on the corner you yeah. know like it, it's no long now it's like CVS and Walgreens right. but you had like the the yeah. old school what were they called like stationary, stationary stores stationary thank you where they sold all that yes. kind of stuff Pops. candy cop, yeah candy yeah Pops. and then yeah. I'd like pop into my friend's house and we'd be like let's go see what so-and-so's yeah. doing We'd well, all, it's funny because, like, like, yeah, it was like it's ET. So Remember true. ET? Yeah. They all rode their bikes everywhere. That was us. Well, that's what these boys are now. Like, and I see them in, in their clan of pack of four bike riding yeah. down the street, you know, and I'm like, I remember that. I like it's and back. I said I like to their parents, I'm like, listen, if we, if any of them go missing, we know that they're at one of our houses, mm -hmm. you know, like if they don't come home from school because they're all always walking together yeah. and everything like that. And I'm like, we know they're somewhere. You yeah. Know. Yeah. You just get the Live 360. Yeah. You were telling me about that. You get the Life 360 app, mm -hmm. boom. You know where they are all the time. Yeah. And now I know how fast Kenzie's driving. Mm -hmm. I know everything. That's okay? awesome. I know everywhere Wait, they are. Wait, you can tell how fast she's oh, driving? Yeah. That's so cool. I can see, right? They Literally, I can see everywhere she's going and the miles per hour that Ooh, she's going girl, right now. Oh, girl, watch out. And then you can set up for uh, uh, notices, like when she arrives certain places yeah. or how if she went on a fast, like I can get notices. That's awesome. Yeah. I think that's great that they're out on their own doing their own stuff. Yeah, me too. And I love having the boys over last it's night. It was so cute. And he's so, I saw the pictures on Insta. <gasps> so handsome. I'm like, uh, Sharon? He's, he's almost as tall he as me. He was three <laughs> I when I started. It's crazy. He was it's three crazy. years old. I'm like, this, and this is what, and I know Alyssa's going to freak out because we're like way over, so we're going to have to cut some stuff down. But this is what I say when we talk about like the Discover Long Island family. Yeah. It's yeah. really like. Yeah. We're raising our kids together. Yeah, exactly. You know, and Nikki's kids mm -hmm. and like, and Alyssa's where we get to watch everybody, like Chris's kids are going off to college, college. and we get to watch our families grow up. Yeah. And I do feel like I'm part of yeah, when yeah. I see everybody's pictures and it's, it's crazy to me. I feel like, uh, that's my B. Yeah. When do you mean he's nine? <laughs> I'm like, what? He's so grown up. I know. Anyway, that's crazy. so cute. I love it. So it I wanted cute. to say happy birthday to Brayden. Thank you. Because I just, you. I can't believe how big he is. I know. And, and even Pearl. I know. I'm like, what? Know. She's, she is your mini me. <laughs> In every aspect. <laughs> <laughs> so cute. I love it. Um, and so I'd like to thank Long Island Wine Country, especially this week. I say that every week. Yeah. But for the wine of the week, Sharon. We are drinking Rose Hill. Mm -hmm. uh, so 
2021st Fruit Sauvignon Blanc. It's so delicious. Yeah. And we're going really like in it. anticipation of our live remote. It's next week, right, Alyssa? Yeah. So our next episode. Our next episode is from Rose Hill. Which is awesome. Yeah. So I was excited to try their, we're like, we're um, ad- taste testing, advancing. Yeah. I love it. So this one is, it gives a little bit of the taste. La, 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 la. tasting notes it's fresh crisp and the first fruit we harvest each year our sauvignon blanc pairs perfectly with any occasion i would say that i can yeah. see that it's really light and crisp um i think the color is beautiful and um i could see that it kind of goes with everything and so yeah i picked this one out today because a we're going there ne- next episode I know, and so i wanted exciting. to check it out yeah um, but also it just felt good after coming from Montauk and the beach and everything. Yeah. I was like a little soft blanc. Yeah. Yeah. Could totally use it. So thank you, uh, Rose Hill. We're really excited. I can't wait to see the vineyard. Ellison and, and Bree and Chris came back Everybody, and they were like, they oh were my like, God, it's Yeah. They were totally going off. Um, I'm excited. Yeah. And it's they have a fun. B&B where you can actually stay there overnight. Yeah. So I can't wait to check I know, that out. I heard Alyssa saying she wants to stay there for her anniversary. That's oh, awesome. Yes. Um, and then also I want to thank Long Island Wine Country and it's just such a perfect time right now to be in the vineyards that if you're not in the vineyards, I don't even know what you're doing. I, I don't know. even understand you. I know. I can't understand you as a person because it's gorgeous. I don't even and, know what you're like, doing. And <laughs> Long Island wines. Exactly. Like, it's, they're so good. So make sure, uh, thanks Long Island Wine Country, but make sure if you're at your restaurant or if you're at your uh, liquor store, go just, just take a little detour. Mm-hmm. And go to Long... They all have Long Island wine sections. Right. Try something new. Um, you know, go back through our pod notes and pick one that we've tried because yeah. uh, they're they're so good. And I think that, you know, we really appreciate all of the uh, support we get from liwines.com and make sure you go to longislandpodcast.com and uh, go on to uh, the Wine of the Week deal. Yeah. Right? Perfect. Alyssa, yeah, okay, cool. Let's talk about Wild Play real quick, just yeah, because, because so I've got good. Wild Play on the brain. We love Wild Play because uh, the new episode just yeah. came out uh, of, of Long Island TV that also is Wild Play, and mm-hmm. I just watched it. And uh, Brie does such a good job. I have to tell you, it looks like it looks intense. It does look super intense, and she did amazing. She did during the whole it, thing. It's like really exciting looking. Speaking of exciting, but it's funny because like the bloopers love I love them I always love the bloopers yeah. on LA TV but like you can hear her like you can hear her she's nervous yeah you know? <laughs> like, yeah, but, yeah. You, but they but I, I thought it was really cool because I've been to the ones where you click in click out click yeah, in yeah then it just and they have over. this yeah they have this like state of the art um, system where you don't have to even worry about that it right. just slides through Which, um, so you're that always would stress me out like, yeah you know yeah. doing that kind of thing I'd be like when do I unclick no you know? I, I literally <laughs> felt like I was a professional climber climbing Everest when I did it I was like I, you feel like you really have to know things so it's nice to feel like you don't have to know that right you can just soar keep through. going yeah um, so Wild Play is at Jones Beach, which is still a perfect time of year to go and do this because yeah. it's gorgeous and you're not going to like sweat to death. It's perfect, the weather. Um, and it's zip lines, high ropes courses, and free fall jumps uh, right on the boardwalk of uh, Field 4 and 5 at Jones Beach. If you go to wildplay.com backslash Jones Beach, um, use promo code DISCOVER20 to save 20% off of your entire booking at Wild Play. And that's huge, by the way. That's just for us. These yeah. are just for our listeners. So Talk make you. sure you go to that and say, uh, again, I'm just going to say it again, wildplay.com slash jones hyphen beach. And it's discover 20 to save 20% off. Also, is it a pack? How many tickets are we giving away? Is it four? four? four. It's a four pack? Okay. So also, you heard it here first. Uh, if you go to discoverlongisland.com mm-hmm. and sign up for our newsletter. It pops right up as soon as you get there. Yeah. So just sign up for our newsletter. It comes once every other week. And it's uh, it's got great info. It, you know, we don't. Yeah, we talk about events. We, we don't spam about, you with anything right. else. We don't sell your information to anyone. Don't worry. Just sign up for our newsletter. And uh, we're giving away a four-pack to Wild Play. So you can actually, if you're on the fence about it, you can enter to win so cool. from our newsletter. Yeah. And you can go check it out yourself. Which is so cool. I think that's amazing. Yeah. So thanks to Wild Play for their great sponsorship of this and, and us and believing mm-hmm. in us and uh, and for hosting our LITV, LITV crew. Which is awesome. And uh, you can go onto our YouTube channel right now, Discover Long Island NY, if you want to check out Wild Play. And you can see for yourself. Yeah. Excited. Excited. So I'm excited about a few things. Okay, good. Actually. Do we want to talk about the breaking news that we got? Yeah, yeah, you can do it. Yeah. Okay. Barney the Bull. I I don't I'm not sure I believe it. 
has been found. I don't know if I believe it. And I think that it's hysterical I, that it's been breaking news on News 12. <laughs> I also, do you believe it? Because no, I think they just no. found a bull. I think they just grabbed a bull. Chris agrees right. with me. Yes. Mm-hmm. Chris's team, I don't believe it. I think that they just, I was just thinking about the bull this morning. And I'm like, haven't heard anything. Oh, I'm surprised Thomas didn't text you. Did he text you? No, I'm thinking fake news. Fake I'm going to say fake news. All right. All right. Well. Yeah, it's, they just want closure. Chris is right. I needed the closure. I, I'm kind of I mean, glad. <laughs> Look, put it to bed. Honestly. I, I really thought he was in Chris's freezer. I can't deal with the fact time. of thinking that he might not be still with us. So I'm yeah. glad. Yeah. So he's found some annual animal rescue organization has taken him sure. from New Jersey. Okay. Yep. Sure. <laughs> sure. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> you know, if you choose to believe that. Yeah, exactly. Which I do. I, You know, I don't know. <laughs> we can go with that. I just, I don't know. Yeah, it's, listen. It, it's weird. It's weird. There's a lot of time. I have, I have a lot of questions. Yeah. Where has he been? You've been watching too many Sopranos. I have. <laughs> I have been binge. You're like, listen. I have been binge watching The Tony. Sopranos, and I love it. And I'm like, if you have not watched The Sopranos in the last five ten years have just rewatch it restart it i have to from tell you i did see the coming attractions to the movie yeah i know it looks awesome it looks awesome it does real, right really good. i know i can't watch it until i see it i um, know anyway so it's go awesome. ahead what else are you i'm i'm with you on the bowl i don't believe it but i'm mm-hmm. um, i'm gonna go ahead and choose to buy into it yeah. just so that it can be just, put to bed yeah we got to put it to bed uh our hot tea fans, Moments Between Us. Yes. They got engaged. Oh, my God. So cute. But he had, like, flower petals everywhere. Of course. And what was on the easel? Did you see that? That's that's was that? It, probably that's how it me. was? Where is it? I'm kind of, like, he should have called us, I feel like. I know. That's actually what I was going to say. We should have We should have been a this. part of this proposal. Yeah. Oh, so cute. Oh, my gosh. That's beautiful with the water and yeah. everything. Their engagement. He did get it right. He did. Yeah, he got it right, of course, because we would have. He knows we're, we're going to blog they about it. They were just so cute, though. <laughs> they like, can't keep it, it a secret. He, the whole post is like a bunch of pictures, but also the vid- somebody videotaped it. Oh, which, good. I don't know. That's so mm-hmm. weird to me as far as like that would make me nervous if I was the proposer. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like somebody's videotaping like. So we were just talking about this at uh, Catherine and Jen's going away party yeah. about proposals and what they were like. And um, I was recapping uh, mine and Thomas's proposal. <gasps> and I uh, love. because, and it was funny. So he and the staff is laughing because they, they did the story. It. So I funny. missed it. Yeah, you, were, you missed that because yeah. you were gone that day. So, um, so Thomas proposed to me at midnight in Paris at the Eiffel Tower, right? Which, Which is did like, you, did you know? Please. No. Well, we were there in Paris, and it was for his 50th birthday. Right. 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 And so everybody's like, oh, my God, he's going to propose to you. Right. He's going to propose. And I was like, I don't think so. Because. I know. Because you were like n- total denial. Yeah. And then you came back. I know. So everybody asked. And I'm like, I don't think so, because it's our first, like, really big trip together like this. And yeah. it's his 50th birthday. And it's we've his never birthday. Really, yeah. yeah it's yours. his birthday. Yeah. And we've never talked about it. And I don't think he would risk you know, ruining the trip. <laughs> right. I don't think he would risk ruining the trip. <laughs> ruining the trip. Yeah, because I think, you know, nobody knew. Right. We hadn't talked about it. So nobody, anyway, so he had called my family and he actually took Kenzie to Tiffany's I know. to help pick out the ring, so much. which was amazing. And um, which, anyway, but the, so but I wasn't sure, but we had dinner reservations at Jules Verne's, which is that incredibly fancy restaurant in Paris. it's in the Eiffel Tower you have oh to like book gosh. six months in advance to get a reservation there and so and that was on his birthday so the girl the, you know the girls were like he's gonna propose to you at Jules Verne's and it's so fancy and I was like he's gonna have to take a number yeah <laughs> because everybody there you know that's the whole reason people get a dinner is like to his special occasion restaurant right I was like that would be so like cheesy right but you know that Thomas planned that right so I think he, you know, heard me say that or whatever. So then what happened was, is that we got there the first day, we go to the Eiffel Tower because our room wasn't ready and we had hung out. It was nice. Fine. So then we go to dinner and then he was like, okay, let's, can, the, we're going in the Uber on the way back to the, we had rented an apartment. Can we go back to the Eiffel Tower? And I was like, I mean, really, we were just there and it's our first night. Right. And he was like, I want to see it sparkling. And I'm like, I really, I kind of feel like it, I'm tired. There's too much and going on. And he was like, please. So fine. So we get there and it's already off for the night. I was like, okay, whatever. And then I'm super annoyed. Yeah. Okay, now I'm going to get another Uber to back 
to the apartment that we could have been in. Right? I'm super tired. So then the next day we go to the Louvre all day. Amazing. Fine. Have an awesome dinner. I was so happy. And then he's like, so let's go to the Eiffel Tower. And I'm like, Again? what is your deal <laughs> with the Eiffel Tower? I'm like, you're being really basic right yeah. now in Paris. <laughs> We are in I'm Paris. I'm like, we've got dinner there. Yeah. And a couple nights, like, we've been there, like, calm down. Right. I'm done insane. with the Eiffel Tower. And he was like, please, I promise, it, you know, it's just, I just want to see it sparkle. And I'm like, I, he was like, we'll go. <laughs> I'm like, it doesn't do it every hour in the hour. And then we've got 30 minutes. He's like, we'll go to the bar right there and we'll, I'll get you a glass of wine and we'll hang out. I am blackout rage. <laughs> I'm <laughs> sipping my wine. I won't even talk to him. I was like, this is so dumb. I I don't understand why we have to go to the Eiffel Tower twice Just to a see day. It sparkle. <laughs> I Aww. was like, I I really I did not understand. And I was so nasty. <laughs> and then we get there and then it's midnight and it starts sparkling and I was like, I'm looking at it, I'm like, I mean, it was like, okay, this is really pretty. Yeah. I totally had never seen a sparkle. It. I was like, this is I'm looking, I'm like, oh, this is really okay. And then I and then I look and he's kneeling and I'm like what and I thought he was just being sentimental, like being weird, like because he's giving me some speech, and I, I don't know what he's saying. And I I couldn't see a ring. He didn't have the box. There was no box. I keep doing this, like I'm like I don't understand what you're doing, and I couldn't see a ring, and he was mumbling something, and I'm like, and then all these people are looking oh, like at surrounding us, surrounding you and clapping, and and I'm like I don't know, and then all of a sudden I was just going we oui or no, we oui or no, everyone's saying that, uh, yeah, and I'm like. Aww. I, and I was so flustered. And Aww. I'm like, oh my God. I was like, just get, just, just get up. up. And I'm like, what is this? What is this? And he was like, it's a ring. I'm like, what What do you mean? What's a ring? Where is this from? <laughs> and he was like, you <laughs> Yeah. And he was like, it's from Tiffany's. I'm like, what is this? What is this? Where's the box? Who buys a ring from Tiffany's and doesn't <gasps> oh. present it in the box? Oh. And he was like, I didn't want to carry the box around all day. And I'm like, I don't even know what's happening. So... I was really flustered and completely caught off guard. Right, was, and right. so then we sat there for an hour and we called everyone and calmed down. And then it was about to be the the next hour where it lit up again. Mm -hmm. And so before it happened, I was like, um, "Would you would you mind doing it again? Can you just do a redo?" I'm like, "Cause uh. I really I uh, I missed everything that you said. I didn't hear a word you said. That's so funny. And I was completely. Can you? And he was like, you know." course I'll do it a million times He's and I'm like so sink and cute you. I can't and then it was awesome because we, we did, and he did it again I got to listen to what he said Aww. and it was so awesome and perfect and then everyone's like we or no <laughs> we or no and I was like we I finally got to say it because the first yeah. time I was like just get, get up. up yeah that's great love yeah. is in the air wonderful love is in the air so cute. cheers to you guys love you and um you should call us for your uh for your wedding planning sure because uh, we need, we've got some thoughts. They, I'm sure they have some thoughts. Oh too, my god, you know, they know moments everything. between yeah, us. They, Come on. Yeah, <laughs> they, they could probably school us. To be honest. Okay. okay. The other thing we're excited about is yet another giveaway that we're doing. We have so many giveaways, you guys. We really do. We gave away tickets to Blaze, the pumpkin thing, which, which is, is amazing. So amazing. Uh, it's in Old Bethpage Village, mm -hmm. and it's going to be what a cool place. Listen, it's going to be on Long Island TV as well. Yeah. If you need to see yeah. it, and it's on our TikTok. Uh, so cool, and we gave away tickets to that. Uh, we gave away gauge sunglasses to a hot tea. Yeah, our hot tea, Zenny Jenny. Zenny Jenny got our gauge. Yeah, those are so cool. I know. Uh, they really are. I get Zenny Jenny. Seriously, so much compliments. Uh, they're really. I'm, you I'm know what's awesome about them is they're really light. Yeah. You know, like they're good for runners, mm -hmm. I would say, or like. The lenses are polarized. And, and they're polarized. And so for me, I have such bad eyesight. The mm -hmm. lenses are so clear. Yeah. Because I have these awesome Ray-Bans that are really sexy. Right. But, but I can't. can't see anything. Right. Like, <laughs> so yeah. I, I do the Brie and I just wear them on top of my head. Yeah. I never actually wear them because I'm like literally blind. That's so funny. But the gauge sunglasses, mm -hmm. I can wear them and actually see. Yeah. It's awesome. Yeah, they are awesome. So Zenny Jenny won those. And then we also have a giveaway to Howie Mandel. Howie Mandel, which is so cool. Um, the giveaway is concert to, um, t October 23rd. So you're right. Okay. Um, the, at the NYCB theater at Westbury. Okay. And in order to enter, you have to like, follow, and tag a friend to enter to win on the Long Island Tea Podcast social on Instagram. And tune into Long Island Tea Podcast stories mm -hmm. on Instagram for mm -hmm. details. Yeah. Uh, so Brie will put that out. Just... Uh, Basically, just follow our Instagram, yeah, um, Long Island Tea Podcast, because Brie will tell you everything to do. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. When this uh, giveaway alert, yeah, exactly. 
But Howie Mandel, how cool. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, I, I would love to see him. And that NYCB um, Theater is I was really say, small, which that's is awesome. A, that's an awesome venue, yeah. NYCB Theater, because it's very intimate. Yeah. yeah. But like also high end. Yeah, I saw Chelsea Handler there. Ooh, that was. Yeah, you didn't like her, uh, right? I loved her book. Yeah. You know, like I loved her yeah. prior to no. her. See, I loved her before I read her book. Re- the Are You There Vodka? It's Me. I love that. Uh, the other two are like, eh. I don't remember which one I read. I thought that was, anyway, I didn't like it. I thought she was really mean. Are You There, Vodka? It's Me, Chelsea, is more like um, her life story. Mm. Like, you know, how she mm. got started, her family story, blah, okay. blah, blah. It wasn't that one. No. It was about how she, like, plays pranks on her staff all the time. No, that was the and other And I thought one. it was really rude. I didn't like it either. Exactly. I, I really Can you imagine loved... pranking our staff? No. I mean, she was, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I think that's funny. <laughs> I can't imagine it. No, I, I I loved I loved her as a personality, and then I read that book, and I was like, well, she's, she changed at some she's point. Mean. She got really mean and weird. She's like naked all the time in her Instagram. Yeah, I mean, she's look, weird. she looks good, but okay, you know, I don't know. I just I don't like being mean to my staff. I can the things that I just could never treat people that way. No. Um. So anyway, but yeah, that's a great venue. And Howie Mandel, I yeah. think he's really nice. Yeah, he seems like a nice person. Yeah. Because I haven't read his book. No, me. Does either. he have a book? Probably. They all do. <laughs> I know. They all do. I like that he was germophobic before it was cool. Right. You know, he's like fist bump. Yeah. He always Howie was. Mandel. Yeah. I think that's smart. He was ahead of his time with mm-hmm. the germs. Mm-hmm. Um, so, and also I think he's hilarious in like a smart comedy kind of way. Um, so that's a cool thing to be excited about. And then uh, what's next? Uh, Long Island Life? Or did we already cover that with the bull? I think we covered that. Um, <laughs> it's the only other thing I would say I have anxiety about, and I even debated on bringing this up, but um, is the the Gabby Petito, mm-hmm. you know, yeah. case. Like, it's just so sad. Like, she's such a beautiful girl, and you know, as an ins- you see all these Instagram influencers oh. in their vans, yep, like doing this van life hashtag van life cool thing and yeah. it looks so fun and it looks so like exotic and oh we're living out of it my kids watch it kate and nate i think is what they're called and they're doing the same thing and um and you just never know what's happening behind closed doors and i don't know what the the how this case is going to mm-hmm. unfold but you know i just think she's a long islander um and so is her fiance brian and i just you know regardless as to what happens with the whole case you know, those are two families that are really hurting, hurting. right now. Absolutely. Yeah. I and just the the news that it got, you know, the coverage that it got, it's national news. Yeah. I mean it's unbelievable to me that this can happen, you know. <laughs> it's so sad. So many she, questions. What, was she twenty two? Twenty two years she's old. She's so young. Um and uh, Long Islanders it's it you know, we always talk about our community mm-hmm. and how we come together and how many um, you know, vigils are going on and things like yeah. that right now for her. It's just it's truly it's affecting everyone. It's 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 such a tragic case and, and like I was saying a couple of episodes ago or last episode or whatever that once you become a parent you never stop Absolutely. worrying. And this is why. Right. Because right. you just I mean, she's with her fiance. Right. They're in a van. Like they're they look super in love. You just never know. And it, oh my god, it makes I me know. so scared I as know. a parent, especially girls. You know, uh, and I just feel for both. You know, for her family and his, but also his family mm-hmm. because regardless as to what happens, his family. You know, they're going. It's 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 so many lives impacted by this. So mm-hmm. um, it's really a big story on Long Island, but also nationally. Um, so you know. I feel so bad for them and that's giving me some anxiety because I just can't I can't deal with that I was like Ooh, I knew it was going to turn out bad yeah. and it's just it's yeah, turning out bad never, yeah exactly <gasps> what no, else um, I totally hurt my back I don't know oh what I God. did I woke up this morning and I'm like couldn't move <laughs> oh my gosh <laughs> that's my anxiety I literally I don't know I don't know what it is this wine is certainly healthy yeah <laughs> oh my god like upper or lower the whole thing from the bottom of my neck like I feel like it's my entire spine I don't know I don't know, must have picked the kid up wrong somehow. Oh, my God. Maybe virtual reality. I don't know. <laughs> virtual reality. What were you doing on <laughs> the virtual reality? Were you, what was so the there's scenario? like um, roller coasters Ooh. or there's like, you know, sabers. Yeah. But I don't know. I don't know what I did. But like that, I'm literally sitting here trying to work. And oh like gosh, you poor here I'm fine. It's in my office or like, you know, sitting at the lunch table with the girls today. I'm like, I don't even think I can sit in this chair. Oh, my God. I don't know what the heck I did. And you said it was lower? It's my whole thing. Hold it's the it. whole thing. That's weird. It's like, you know, if you were an angel where your angel wings would be? Oh. That's yeah. where it hurts. Oh. That's and, cr- and you like, just woke up. I just woke up like that. That's weird. It's so weird. I've done that before, too. Like, where I've 
pulled my neck out. I don't know. I must be like missing something. <laughs> you know? Oh, you poor thing. Uh, uh, Tegan hurt her neck in cheer the other day. And so, you know, my sister and her wife are both like orthopedic PAs. Yeah. And so I called her. I was like, should she ice or I can't even remember. Heat or ice, ice. heat yeah. or both. I think it's. And so she's like, go back and forth. Mm-hmm. You, you ice and you heat. And so, uh, so I told Tegan, so she's ice and then she got the heating pad and then she goes to cheer and her coach, I gotta love these coaches. She's like, um, you're still hurt. You should not be using the ice. You should only be using the heating. I'm like, shh, shh, shh. you're I not got, a doctor. I got a guy listen, or a girl. Listen <laughs> to your coach. Yeah. You are not an orthopedic Seriously. specialist. So shush, don't give the girl, like sometimes these people. I know, I, I know. Can't. Don't, don't give advice. I know. It's crazy. And my sister's a, a PA too. And she she always says like do it depends if it's a, a nerve or a muscle. Right. So you can wh- tell what happens. Tell. So when mm-hmm. someone falls on you, you like Yeah. Um so anyway, uh, so speaking of advice, we got a request for um advice <laughs> this week. Uncorked advice. And so it's, it this is fun. I, I'm, I don't know if I, I think I, this is, I think, tongue in cheek, but, Do I'm, you? I'm, but I'm here for it. I don't know. I, you think say it's that, but, but I kind of believe it. Okay. I don't know. All right. So um, go follow Scoop on Instagram, wrote us some uncorked advice, and they s- said, Hello, I love the show. I suffer from, I'm not even going <laughs> to. What is it? What is it? The lassophobia. The any advice for living on Long Island? So the definition of thalassophobia is a persistent, intense fear of deep bodies of water, such as the sea, oceans, pools, or lakes. That's hilarious. <laughs> thalassophobia. I'd never heard of that before. Yeah. And you live on Long Island, surrounded by water, mm-hmm. and you have a deep fear, a deep and intense fear of bodies of water, such as the sea, oceans, pools, or lakes. I love what your response was. I was like, same. Same? Just don't go in the water. <laughs> I'm like same. <laughs> Just I, don't go I, in. I never go in the. I don't go in the water. I don't, I'm not going in the water. I'm That's terrified hysterical. of the water. That's I don't. So funny. I don't. I only drink filtered water. Yes. I'm terrified of drinking regular water. Me too. I'm terrified and I'm a of being Long in Islander. the water. <laughs> I just am like. I mean, don't go in. The, I never go in the water. I know. You know I what? look at the water. I dine by the water. I don't go in. I don't go in the, the water. water. Yeah, but if he's got this fear or she's got this fear. Yeah, well, also, and I was telling you, like, I also, when it's funny because I lived in Arizona and I had a deep, intense fear of scorpions, which I still do. I don't know what that's called. Somebody can Google well, that. Well, there's like phobias for everything, yeah. right? Like, I, I have a phobia of puking. Oh, ugh. sorry. I know that's gross. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Legit. Uh, clearly, I didn't have, you can't like, even say the word. And I'm like, oh. Major fear. Major fear. Don't even say that word because my reflex starts. Yeah. But, but no. like, that's my fear. But I had I a deep, know. intense fear of scorpions and I lived in the desert surrounded by scorpions. So, you know what I did? I moved to Long Island. Right. Here you so, go. So, if you have a deep, intense fear of the water, you can't look at it. Move then to you Arizona. Move to Arizona. <laughs> move to and the then, desert. And then You'll get stung fine. by scorpions. <laughs> Trade, yeah. <laughs> yeah, good luck. Trading places. <laughs> no, but I thought that was really funny. Yeah. And uh, I, I noticed this new Instagram, what's it called? Go follow Scoop. Yeah. So thanks for liking the show and subscribing. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, and uh, it looks like it's kind of a new thing. So we'll follow you as well. Um, what else? We've got some events coming up, uh, can we want to Wait, can we talk about celebrity oh, for, yeah, us for yeah, a second? Oh, oh. I want to do a little reheat on, on what you talked about with the Met Gala. Oh. And J-Lo and that hat. You didn't like it? It's Indiana Jones. That is so J-Lo anyway. It, she yeah. wears that hat. She's reinventing an old it, outfit. That's like the influencer hat. Yeah. That they all she wear. She wears like it that all the time. Hat. Yeah. She yeah. wore it back when she was with Ben last time. Ben we must really it. like you, the hat, you actually. You hate J-Lo. <laughs> we get it. You hate J-Lo. But wait, can we talk? I wanted it. I was like talking to my radio when I was listening to you and Alyssa. I'm like, you guys didn't even bring up Kim K. Was it the all black thing? Yeah. That was weird. The memes, though, that came out after it, Hilarious. which was hysterical with her and Kendall, or yeah. Kendall, I think. Yeah, well, Kendall looks amazing. Amazing. And then there's Kim behind Why? her. I don't and get her, it. like, black, I don't know, whatever. I didn't get it. Uh, Britney Spears got engaged. Okay, this was, I was going to bring this up because Sharon. Yeah. You know, I love saying I told you so. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm going to say. Yeah. <laughs> this was the cover of my Us Weekly that... Within days, like of announce her dad announcing, she she's got a sixty million. They're like, yep. people are begging her to do a sixty yep. million dollar prenup, mm-hmm. and she's got really strange behavior. I'm like, here we go. Here it is. Here, 
Brittany's just, back. Back again. <laughs> I just, I feel for her. I really do. I yeah. feel for her. She's yeah. such a, she, look, I'm team Brittany, um, but I just feel for her. I, I hope that she's got some guidance in her I life. Do I, I do, too. I do, too. Because, again, you know, goes, like, so she's much gonna, behind the she's scenes. Gonna, she's going to end up like MC Hammer. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Poor, like $30 million spent in it. Like, I'm telling Funny. you, this money doesn't last forever. I know. And you get one, you know, opportunist yep. in your life. Mm-hmm. And I, I'm not saying her dad should have been the one that was her conservator. But, no, but obviously, somebody yeah. should be. Yeah. Somebody should help that girl. I, I don't know. know. I'm team Brittany all the way. I, I hear you on that. But, like, like, here we, I saw it. I was like. Yep. There it is. There it is. There, no there one listens to me. I'm like, Sharon? <laughs> no one listens I to know. me. So I brought it up. <sighs> I called it. I know. Okay, thank you for bringing it up. It's uh, funny. Any other celebrity? You were talking about the Emmys. The Emmys, Jason Sudeikis and Ted Lasso. So cute. So cute. I Won came everything. into you and I said I was going to save it for the pod, but I had to tell you that Thomas resembles Jason Sudeikis. That's so cute. He really does. You see it? No. Did you go back and look at the clips? No. I haven't looked at it yet. Right. But so you're saying when he did his, I, I was able to stay awake just long enough to see that he won, and then I fully, I couldn't even hear a speech. I went oh my god, he was so cute. I love it. I love him. It was so adorable. The whole thing. I love Ted Lasso and that whole cast. Like I just, they were so cute. They were all so excited. I know. And I like love that they, they were won. talking about like how how he showed up to the to the Emmys. You know, like last time he was nominated, yeah. he was in his, in his living room with a hoodie over Zoom. But with Emmys, he was in a beautiful velvet suit. Yeah, he looked you know, good. He looked really good. And I'm telling you, like his, I don't know if it's his mannerisms or like his facial expressions, but they totally remind me of Thomas. That's so cute it's that you so said funny. that because I was telling you that. So we got oh. So we got our cap, our countertops in. Yes. Anxiety, Stunning. kitchen remodel. Okay, here's your update. They came. They installed the countertops. The sink was cut correctly. It looks beautiful. Now I'm trying to get the backsplash done because the wall is taken off. Um, but so Thomas decides that, he, you know, Thomas, he's amazing. He's so smart. He's like a computer nerd mm-hmm. that does stuff in the oh, cloud. I call him a computer nerd. Yeah, he's like, he is. He's like, he knows. He's yeah. nerdy. Um, and he solves all these, like, just very intense problems on the computer and the cloud. I don't even know what he does. And then he kills spiders with his bare fingers, which blows my mind. Like scary, like really. That I can't. Hairy, scary uh, spiders. Uh, we are all be screaming and freaking out. And he's like, <laughs> he'll, and he'll like, they'll like crunch. Oh God. I, I, I can't even be in the room. I can't. Even. And he's also I have the chills. really handy, you right, know? Right. Um, so he insisted on, um, plumbing, doing yes. the plumbing himself. Yep. Mm-hmm. And it's been a few days. I think he, I got home at nine thirty last night. I think he was thought he was done. Okay. He's had to. There were several trips to Lowe's. Yeah, mm-hmm. to the hardware store mm-hmm. and different pipes. And the fact that and, he, and he's so because he, he like Google's and you like YouTube's videos. Yeah, and that's does awesome. It, yeah, and then does it. Good. And I'm like, I think we should just, I mean, we should call someone. This I mean, is this a is profession. A, yeah, it's a profession. We should do it. We should just call like I an actual you... plumber. Yeah. And I was, and then he was like, no, I, why, I'm a guy. I, I can do this. I I'm like, it. no, I know you can do it, but do mm-hmm. you need to do I mean, you worked all day. Right. On the cloud. Right. You're so building clouds. You worked all day. <laughs> So should you really be working until nine thirty at night? Like, plumbing. let's just call someone mm-hmm. so that you shouldn't have to do it. Right. And then he's like, "No, I I want to do it. I'm excited. Like, I love it. I saw this video. I'm going to do it." So then he's down there the whole night, and he's. I said he, I married Clark Griswold. Yes, is what did. I call him because yes. I I've always loved Clark. By yeah. the way, he's been my dream guy forever. Fix an old Paul's. Yeah, because he's like the <laughs> ultimate family guy and so yeah. sweet and so positive. And so he's under the sink and he's like, "Oh, oh my, fudgy the whale." I love him. Fudgy I the what him. is happening? Like uh, water's leaking. Stuff like major spitting out. Cursing. And what was the other one I said? It wasn't fudgy the. It was, there was a couple of like. Just did he go? Oh, but Jesus or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> he he does he's, he doesn't you know he won't just like scream out curse words right, but he's right. like oh my goodness oh here we go fudgy the whale <laughs> what is happening I'm like are you okay he's like oh, oh man that's my funny. hands don't reach like that <laughs> I'm never gonna get oh my gosh oh that wasn't supposed to happen I'm like don't <laughs> and you don't clearly say have that. like I'm like I'm like drinking wine like. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah. Like, what's her name on that, the, Yeah. On Christmas vacation. What's her name? Oh, Beverly D'Angelo. I forget yeah. her name. Uh, his wife. That's literally. Ellen. Ellen. That's Fixing literally the where, where he, The thing is, is he's not lazy. So he, he would be the guy. Like, mm-hmm. whatever I want. Christmas lights. Whatever the family yeah. wants. Yeah. He's up there doing it all night. And then everyone else is like, go to bed. Yeah. And it's then time. she's like <laughs> with the reindeer cup. And she's like, Clark throwing it just go to bed <laughs> yeah. anyway oh, man, uh, that's, that's so cute but that's funny that jason sudeikis um i love him he's gonna be on saturday night live on their finale i heard today. Uh, really okay season finale so i loved him and i loved all of the uh emmys and i the did Met too Gala i stuff. really did uh i watched the morning show which yeah. we were talking mm-hmm. about i watched the first episode okay. you guys so good amazing no, you have no spoilers. I won't, okay, Lisa. I won't tell you. I won't tell you the spoilers. But what I will tell you is, um, you know, the first season really captured the whole Matt Lauer, yeah, you know, okay. storyline. Yeah, this one, I think, you know, I only watched the first episode, but it's really amazing. It's capturing the 2020 storyline because it starts in 2019. It starts oh. like New Year's Eve. Okay. And you're seeing all the people in Times Square oh, and okay. people sharing drinks, you know, wow. and like sneezing behind you no one yeah. thinks anything of it and it's just when you see these little things they plant it, it's really done all right. so I well watch it. that you're like you see all these things now that a year and a half later are crazy crazy to you right i know but back Literally. then you're like whoa and um anyway it's just amazing how much our lives have changed and i think it's going to be fun to watch yeah i'm just such a just news a junkie yeah, though exactly. so Love they're that. like talking to me uh so speaking of shows did you watch clickbait no oh what my. is clickbait Gosh. What? This show is amazing. It's on Netflix. It's um, a limited series, but I don't know any of the actors, so I'm not going to name them. But um, every episode has a twist and turn. Oh. It is so good. Okay. So it's it's short. They're like hour episodes, hour long episodes, but it's really good. How is that short? Hour long episodes are long. Uh, well, it's only like one season. That's what I oh, meant by short. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Okay, cool. Awesome. No, I hadn't even heard of it. And so. I just started watching Manifest. I think I'm late to the game. Oh, my God. You've been watching a lot of TV. I'm like, what? Dan started his new job, so he's in bed by like 7.30, 8 o'clock. So I'm like, okay, what's next? Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> I'm so excited about his new job. Yeah, and you guys me get to too. spend time together yeah, now. Yeah, seriously. It's going to be weird. <laughs> <laughs> well. In a good way. <laughs> more, to, more to come. More to come. On that. <laughs> anyway, so uh, I hope you enjoyed this episode. I know it went really, really long, but yeah. Sharon and I had been apart for a while. I know, so, we did a lot of catching uh, up. So make sure you uh, tune in to Long Island TV at Discover Long Island and Y on YouTube. Follow our socials for the Howie Mandel t- uh, ticket giveaways. Yeah. Go to discoverlongisland.com. Sign up for our newsletter. This is a lot. I know yeah, it's a lot. I feel like also, a lot. Um, do what, uh, what was it? What Go Follow Scoop did. Send us a send us a, a DM. Mm-hmm. Yeah, just DM us with a, advice or a comment, something you liked. Um, you know, if you have advice, we'll share your advice. Yeah, you exactly. Know? Please leave a review. Yes, too. five stars. Five star review. Um, we still get the uh, I, what was it? Thumbs down immediately. Was it's it me time. and you, Alyssa? It's every time. With like within the seconds, mm-hmm. I'm like it's every episode. So please, we it really does matter. We need those reviews. We need you guys to our hot teas, our Long Island army to get on yeah. there, and um, because that's how we get like Long Island tea to, uh, to Long Island wines to sponsor us, mm-hmm. Wild Play, all these things. When they see you talk about the show, right. And so next week, we'll be at Rose Hill. Yeah, I'm so excited. See you then. See ya.